on Friday, I uploaded a reaction to a musical performance from Alan Wake 2 where I asked a very simple question. Do I have to play Alan Wake 2 after this? Y'all answered that very loudly in the best possible way, saying, yes, yes, you do, Pat. So, hi. Welcome to my playthrough. Oh, hello. Okay. Welcome to the Alan Wake 2 playthrough. Um, we're going to go through all this. If you're watching this live, this will be our gameplay streams on Wednesdays and Fridays going forward. If you're watching this in the future, uh, we're getting uploaded and updated onto the YouTube two days later. So this should, if I did it right, should be updated and uploaded uh, this Friday, the 15th at noon. So hopefully you're here for that. Hi. Hi, future you. Uh, but yeah, we're going to play Alan Wake 2 because I'm excited. I guess we should press X to continue. Oh, I thought I was going to go right into the game. <laughs> Normal. When overwhelmed by the enemy, look for a safe haven. Its healing light prevents enemies from reaching you. Use a hand flare to escape enemies. Grapple unharmed while knocked to the ground. Use a void. Follow up this will fire to get... Okay, this is good. I'm doing it. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Okay. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. Oh, it's an- oh, okay. This story is a monster. Oh, it's the lake. That makes sense. And monsters wear many faces. Hello, naked man. Okay. Okay, I'm just looking surroundings because I don't know. I'm just gonna go forward. Oh, hello. Awake. 
No pun intended. Oh, okay, thank you for letting me know that I have a spirit button. We're just gonna run through the woods. Oh. <laughs> So that was the cult of the tree. I wonder if they're friends with the cult of the lamb. It's a cold open. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. Sean Ashmore's in this? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> what happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. Oh, good. Night Springs no is still... No spoilers! Okay, good. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with yeah. me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. Hmm. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. <laughs> Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Unison coffee sip. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? It's a question. That anyone can ask either now or in the future. I, I know that's Sam Lake. From the physical and everything. Is it a situation where there's a voice dub for Sam Lake as well, or is that just Sam Lake doing a very good growly American accent? Time to get to work. Yeah, 
These are things that I know I can look up after the fact. I'm just curious if anyone knows for a moment. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? Eh, I'll check this out isn't that Riverdale. Map. Return one, invitation. Can I look at the map? Uh, get to the crime scene, find the deputies. The map I think I hear is basically someone. in the area. Could be. Oh, so we're here, okay. Oh. Your belly aching, Thornton. I'm up here now. <laughs> That's just how the cookie crumbles. Cookies. Hey, over here. Cauldron Lake Royal hey, Cabins. Maybe we'll go Casey, there. Right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know... Mulligan needs a mulligan. Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Uh, I could use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime Let's scene? See what they say. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. His entrails are not his extrails. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. All right. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. Okay. Find the deputies. Auto crouch, nice. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. I'm sorry, I want to... <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that he's still going off. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because that's I'm gonna go down the hill now. But that's funny. Oh, I love that. That's great. Following me? Yet? I need to think through the facts of the case. You can access the case board inside the mine place. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. Okay. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case using each field office as a model in my head. Okay. The facts Case. are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay. The case board is mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation you can use to move around. That to zoom, okay. You're now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing. It's okay. Fix 
Victims. All victims are reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Ted Lane, dentist. Stab wounds, bloating, bruising of the wrists. Wendy Davis, teacher. Body bloated, large chest wound. Percy Wolf, store owner. Bruising heart removed, strange tattoos. Murder methods, slight difference in the murders. Bloating, only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs, deep gash in the chest, heart missing, all bodies experience bloating. Color profile. Postmortem tattooing of the body. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding connections will help search for the killer. Okay, so basically we have a commonality of that, okay. Goals. Okay. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Visiting my place is not pause the game, so be mindful of nearby seat. threats. Okay, cool. That was gonna be my next question, so that count as a pause. But it doesn't, because I probably would have used that. Hey, Casey. Good to know. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this <laughs> is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Cool. I love the everything about the environment here. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Yeah. <sighs> Mirror Peak. Can I look at this? Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all of its inverted glory. Cool. Fucking nature. Mm hmm. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Too much sky? Walking down the hill. We're walking. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Yeah. <laughs> General store. General store, cauldron. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. All right. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You what year do you UFO think? UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? <laughs> Let's just see this body, shall we? Here we go. Investigate the crime. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. 
Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlock your first key image. You can place it on the gaze board inside the My Palace. It allows to see active clues. The key image can be selected with X. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I think image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Another body's been found. We need to see if this is a link to the killings we're here to investigate. It'll prompt a new question, consistent with murder. Objectives are viewable on the case board and your goals. You're now free to examine the case board or leave. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. I do this. This is consistent with previous. Nope. Hmm. Oh, so we need to find more clues that are consistent with it. So we need to find... Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh. I do it this way oh i have to do it that way part was moved but then was this murder interrupted got it i just was doing it wrong heart removed from chest strapped by the wrists definitely matches the previous murders but this time the heart and the straps were left behind more clues to work with this makes four murders that we know about so they and we know that we saw them get interrupted so the victim, the killer. Uh, the clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Investigate the crime scene, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Now free to examine the case board or leave, collect new clues. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. There a little thing here? No. Okay, let's go to the other clues then. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? So two and three. So... Lots of activity here. It's unlikely our killer was working alone. We got one more. Would they consider this part of the killers? Oh, they do. Okay, cool. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Oh, we got more support. What do we have? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Yeah, in here. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Okay. This. For later, for later. 
Cool. Do we have other stuff over here, maybe? I would think we have to go deeper into the woods to find stuff. Map is this one? Yeah. We're here. Conversation, new choices. Oh, new choices, let's go. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Over here. Here we go. Okay, so we gotta go back. Yes, yes, we understand this. Can I look at Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Station heads are not currently available. Kristen. Access is restricted without their permission. Nice talking to you, too. Weird. Get back, because it says there's new conversation talk. Let's... Confused, follow these steps. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Okay, so there's a thing there. Okay. Anderson. Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. A creepy twig sculpture? Back to that, I guess. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, I didn't realize that's who that was. Until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Clues can be discovered between the people as well examining your surroundings. No one's heard from this guy in 13 years. Why service now? Where has he been? I mean, we can talk. You knew the so victim. So you yeah. knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. The cons of the bottom left corner indicate the critical contents available in the mine pallet. We do this. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Okay. Spontaneous are premeditated, so this goes here. Striking outside, having a cold on while they waited for a victim. Okay. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Victim came from. I mean, installed. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Okay, you can use profiling inside Sagami Palace to get inside the heads of the suspects and victims. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people. Missing person ritual order. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Yes. Why? Find the switch. It goes click. 
Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. Interesting. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. Hey. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Oh. Case board. Back to the case board. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now? After 13 years, where has he been? I have two more things. Maybe we go to the lake? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Good. Yeah, okay, guard the body. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. Oh. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. Well, it's a complicated What was this guy thing. doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. It's a big ass tree. It gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy though. Hello? Stand on the block pad. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Can I pick it up? Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Uh, oh, we pick it up. Good. A page full of text on one side. We get now a page? Content. Written with a typewriter. Ooh. Old school. Oh. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. Wait, what? The victim was one of their own. Oh, shit. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. So how and we then there was pages? a page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Oh. Reading, reading the words. The words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. Huh. huh. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or hmm. the killers left it for us. Can be read inside Sakamaya. I should profile head. Nightingale about this page. Okay. I would assume this means... 
What? He walked through a boulder? Doesn't make sense. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. I know it doesn't make sense asking wrong questions and else here. Some the killer is watching us, game on. Profile Page. We found the page. I love in the this detective side. Story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I very true detective. Very much like that. Just now. Inside. The awful truth. Hey. Okay. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Okay. Manuscript pages. I guess we need to look at this. Victims on the phone, and then they turned his page, page they found, reading the words. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing, someone playing a game with them, leading them on, an invitation, how they not accept you? Goal. Figure out what happened with that. Okay. So how do we do this? Oh, there's more shit. Hold on. Nightingale has something hidden inside of him. Found all I can here. Oh, okay. Time to so properly I... examine the body. See what I can find inside. So we were doing the right thing. We just did it not procedural. Got it. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. <laughs> the text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Yeah, so that's just Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Okay, no, Witnesses those. to their design? All the above? It's all oh. about control. Deciding what happens. No, that's to a different who. game. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Mm hmm. Do we have to examine the body again here, or are we just gonna tell him to straight up go to the morgue? I want to see something. Hey, right, cause you made it back. Good. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, okay. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not What's a problem. Deer, what, what is Deerfest? I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Deer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key. To the gate, it's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay. Shortcut key. Thanks. Take the car back to Bright Let's Falls. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses. The book. Okay, I want to do something first because I want to. Right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. more why not it's not the same okay
Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery, ready to be activated with the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing, I know it. First drawing, waterline, real caldera is made from a volcano, lava. Second drawing, waterline, engineered structure, strange machines. Oh, we got little arrows. Excuse me. Here. And those. Okay. Okay, so we got upside down inner trining, upside down over top of each other. We also now have left, right, and in together. Hey, Casey. What's the forest favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridiculous. A triangle. I don't oh. care. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hello? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Okay. So up and down. So am I supposed to be able to figure this out from this? There's that. If you swallow the steps, wash. Oh, wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Oh, wash your hands. There's something over here. That's what... Wash your hands. That's, but I don't see a, okay, anyway. Take the chicken out of the fridge. So, intertwined. Take a nap. Is left, right. The so bottom is left, right. Middle is intertwining. I don't see that. Intertwining left, right. Then we'll just... Ease the platform. There we go. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Oh, hello. Here. Hello. Is there anything else in here? My first step of prime con Casey. A true classic. Okay. Funny. Doll. Casey's favorite brand. Wild Valley. Tastes terrible. Eh. Okay, well, we found that. We did that, so that. Okay, now we go back. We found extra ammo and stuff, so that's useful. Welcome back, Anderson. Fork a key. 
Okay. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. I like the little riddle. Huh. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, yeah. Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I'm guessing we just go up there. Oh, yeah. Says I can't. Or it yells at me. Not. What is this? Property of the FBC. Oh. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Trophy earned. Casey hates We're the all this together, without hero. coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. Yeah. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Yeah. Alex. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Oh, oh, again, again, hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. The significant increase of fire increases magazine size, land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Okay. All right, well, we found something useful. I'm trying to be better about exploring it. I don't always do that. Um, and it appears this is... I mean, I kind of figured it'd be one of those games where it'd be really, really Can't good. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Okay. I'm guessing the key works for this as well. We didn't just get rid of the key. Yes. Good. That'd be very annoying if it just got rid of the key. Aldrin Rake. Aldrin Rake. Going up that hill. We have our car. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Okay. Great Falls. Please don't make me drive. Don't make me drive. Please just drive there. Good. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I was home sure of the deer fest. So from home, but Daniel I'm Deerfest. thrilled to be here for this mystery. Cool. That a, the hell you trust as? Need to swing by the lodge to hey, get anything Oregon, from the field speed. office. No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The I... diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't what keep the you? sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. That's interesting about this. This is just me being GeoGuessr. Can I go back to the speech chat sign? So, it's a running joke because we learned. I was told about it from a TikTok. So, speed typically is only a speed limit sign like that in the states is typically only in Oregon. So the fact that we're in Washington is fun. That's just me That's being a GeoGuessr nerd. Sorry. Today, Charlie. <laughs> don't know. Don't care. So it's the diner. <laughs> How much did Mascot. You have? Not enough. That's how much. Can I? Never enough coffee. Okay, so we can't talk to the coffee people. Bittersweet nectar. Get in that coffee world. Coffee world. Now. 
not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... Oh, dear. <laughs> I mean, our float Cute. will be the belle of the ball of this year's Deer Fest. I just like the small town vibe. It's a nice looking float to share. This is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect. Let me guess. The FBI. Yeah, that's me. Welcome to Bright Falls. Oh, it's Sean Ashmore. It's nice to have you here. I guess that's where Sean Ashmore showed up. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. <laughs> I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Oh, Your some. deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. Yeah, but... but it's slowed down every since Harvey Light was cast off. Guess. Kids of all ages can celebrate Deer Fest at Happy Harvest. Cheeseburger is only eight ninety nine. Oh, look at the little moose and oh, that's cute. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hi, Ed. Hi, Tammy. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of <laughs> thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Uh, why were you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. Oh. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went Don't missing say that's here. Just... I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Oh, so what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic oh. cult. That sounds about right. And then we bolted and called the cops. Why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. The hey. cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found it. The whole thing was terrifying. Yeah. That's what you find. Okay. Uh, the Bookers. Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Hey. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. Huh. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke oh. in for the sake of Tammy's book. Okay. Nothing to do with a the murder. <laughs> they were telling the truth. I mean, I kind of figured that. Anything new with you? Interview witnesses. All right. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I mean, you could have taken a picture of it before. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This 
could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Not gonna lie, I thought that was Phoebe Bridgers like for a second. Dream of missing dear oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Random waitress. As I, I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. What? How are you? Um, Rose? I'm sorry. Who are you? Rose. I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Oh! Happens on TV all the time. No. My daughter's alive? You're mistaking me for someone else. But you know our exact name. If you say so. Have we been here before? What? That's weird. Please pay at your table. Colt necklace. Do you have a new profile? No. We are going to go to the case board, though. Oh! Hold on. Previous murders background. Okay. Got it. We're dealing with an organized group of killers. Not a lone serial killer. Okay. Oh, we got a whole bunch of new stuff. Okay. The Cult of the Tree. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. All right. To stop a cult, we need to understand them, their ideolo ideology, their goal, and their members. Cult goal. Wearing deer mask. That's good. What kind of cult? Hmm. Symbols. What's their purpose? Marking territory, a warning feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. Uh, jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge or pride? Doesn't make sense. Who's involved? Oh, I have to reselect it again. Cult psychology. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to open operate openly. Connection to Deerfest? Faces. Cult stashes. Point of interest cases track objects and information that sagas acquire through chart collection progress. These okay. stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay, so that's just a fun little side. Bright Falls area, cult stashes in Cauldron Lake. Okay, that would be up here for cult stashes. A locked box of cult supplies, some useful things in there. Have anything else? Not for this, okay. Then Alex Casey lunchbox. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Maybe. Rifle area, cauldron like area, who left these? The note inside says, We're in this together, hero. What do they mean? Who left this? 
Okay, goals. Examine body, go to the sheriff's station. Okay, that was fun. Okay. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. Are we from here? It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Okay. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Huh. Well, Casey, walking? I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Murder cult. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That's well. Thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? Yeah. I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Hi, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? Hey. What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But how would you know her name? It's best not to take it personally. Okay, we're at Cole Street. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Oh, neat. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Added an extra map. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Have a nice day. Hey. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. Sure. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only yeah. coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Why is it so dark? Oh, it's, I guess it's basement. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. You okay there, Casey? The he's right joking. There, Casey. Oh, he's here. Oh. I thought that was. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Examine I'll start Nightingale. with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Did we actually get to do what it? What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Aha. Uh -huh. They did That's leave good. something inside his chest. This looks like text. A That's tattoo? It? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Right? Manage that. Um. Cases. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. Oh, okay. This case just became much more complicated. I guess I should have done that. I'll need to start a new file. Oh, okay. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. I 
There we go. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. And I'm guessing for now doing all this. Did the killers write this on the heart? I can't make out what it says. Ritual writing. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Tattoos heart on body. Been marred before removal. Tattoos on body and heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. Anything on the body. Cause of death. As I suspect, it looks like something was put there. <sighs> Victim was alive when strapped down. Timeline is inconsistent. There's definitely something in his chest. Okay. Did the killers leave it there? We're good here. Cool. Okay. Goals. Damn body extended chest cavity. Okay. Did we have to do this or this is on okay, I think it's automated. Thank goodness. page we found at Cauldron Lake. Oh, new new page. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. Oh, we got more? Oh, we're just gonna give me some? I didn't think they were relevant. Let's go. To this case. I have them right here. Thank you, Sean Ashmore. Hello? No, 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 wait. Bye, Sean Ashmore. Sheriff? What the hell? Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Oh. Ah! oh, that's bad. When over on Miami, look for a safe haven in the healing lights. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that, this is not how the story goes. Oh, that's a good way of putting. We have to do that whole thing over? Okay, we can skip. He's coming. 
need to be in the light. Last time. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Nope, that didn't work either. Then maybe we gotta wait for him to pass? Dodging away from a taken slash recharge attack at the last time it was on. Okay, so do this. Skip this. I need to get into the light. Now. Okay, so we see him here. He can't see me in the light. Okay. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gotta move. Now. You can aim by a... So that's just a song, okay. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. Okay. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Okay, we got health out of that. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. Probably. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Fair. Is this the victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to okay. create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Look around. There's one of the pages on the floor. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Hmm. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Okay. So that's a thing. Here now. Okay. 
guessing. I got us. Nightingale attacked us. The dead us. man turned into a monster. See the Undertaker? Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Okay, do I have... Where did Nightingale go? The overlap, what these pages aren't making sense. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron and he's a Taken? Or something else. We have stuff for the Cult of the Tree. Casey, the Cult of the Tree is pouring rituals to create monsters. Cult ritual, what is this? Writing part of the of the ritual. The text tattooed on the victim. Manuscript page is found inside. Writing has some significance here. Was Nightingale was the only victim to uh cold go? Would it be here? Oh. No, it wouldn't. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, his murder matched the other victims. Why didn't they become monsters too? Victim doesn't look right. What is be? Yep. Wait, what? Victim of cult killing became a monster. Symbols. What's it say? <laughs> Would it just be cult goal? Yes. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Need to dig into this. There must be an expert. Goal is figure out where Nightingale went. Do you have anything? Already done that. Uh, unread. Saga fights with the light. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hmm. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. Okay. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't a taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, Creepy the owl. dark place, merged with ours. This place in the dark place, a tarp thrown over top, hmm. drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling okay. it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required okay. precise steps, a ritual, Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. Okay, so we did that. There was a radio? Oh, it's just a song that we got. Got it. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. It won't open. Okay. 
supplies. Do we just talk to Casey? I feel like we have, I feel like the the obvious answer here is we go to the lake. Yeah. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Track Nightingale at Cauldron Lake. Okay. Oh. We we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? <laughs> Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. I mean you two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. A little bit. We'll do what we can, man. A little bit terrible. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. I'm just gonna. Well, yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Batteries and gun ammo. What do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like, huh? He's gone like magic? Yes. Magic's not real. Yes, it is. I like Mulligan and Thornton. I enjoy them. They're funny. They're very Rosencrantz and Golden's. Mm, they're a fine pair. Can I get a soda? No? Okay. Oh dear. I am a tourist. And it appears that I'm lost in the woods. What the oh, heck? A tour guide also. Bear season. What is this? Oh no. A bear. A bear. Help. What is happening? Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences. At affordable prices. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And what? I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local what is this? I'm just exploring everything. <laughs> we get adventure today. Can't talk to you. My client has been held here long enough. Are you going to let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Who's your client? I walk back here? Like, no. I'm just doing all the exploration now because apparently we're gonna need all this. Oh, we got that as a tape? Oh, let's go. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart yes. choice, Anderson. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. Okay, we are going ASAP. this way. Think we'll actually are you find Nightingale? Oh, it's sweet. Like, are you mopping the sidewalk? Yet? We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Was that say? Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. Is that everything? Okay. Sure.
And we're back. Ferry tickets. I'm gonna go on a ferry. The car can be used to travel between locations. This our car. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here Ooh, 13 now. years ago. He was chasing a writer, oh. Alan Wake. Tell me, mentioned him. Seems important. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. <laughs> Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Okay. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of huh. Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring hmm. Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. And... I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Now. Return to the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different mm. rules. Do we maybe go back to, understand this to logic. where the thing was to blocked? To see the clues. To solve the case. Yes. Solve the case. <sighs> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. Yes. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? I don't know. The cult of the lamb. My experience. They don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. We already went up that way. Hey. Hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? No, they do not. We talk to them? Talk to them. Well, uh, Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Oh, it's the dude Fantastic from the video. To meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized oh. to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. <laughs> How's it going? What is this? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. Yeah, that's one that. gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Federal. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore you. I'm gonna talk to. What can to you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that, that is. isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Hey. Can not run through a garbage can. 
That's a big. You know, How did you murder? hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's, there's a Coffee World sauna, Amusement Park? Sauna de Vista. That sounds fun. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. My okay. mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and huh. my brother. Watery. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. Fair enough. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. Oh, well, there you go. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. All right. That's all I've got for the moment. Okay. It's on the back here. Oh, just. Okay. What the hell is this? What'd you find? Let's get to the murder side, Casey. Nothing. Just something that shouldn't be here. Raccoon's my ass. Okay. Nope. Okay. I thought maybe. Fine. We'll go down to the water. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. Yeah. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Apparently not. Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. Back. Oh, okay. Charm sets allow you to set charms to enhance these. The only charms to be equipped in the charm sort. Seems drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No Does sign of Nightingale. Time. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? I don't know. Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Fair. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight it behind does. it. We need to look around. Learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, okay. what then? My palace after this. I've never arrested a monster. I've <laughs> watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. <laughs> Light like worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Baseboard. Uh, I would say cult symbols. Some kind of signature do they intend for the body to be discovered? Just an idle carving. I mean, do we need to go back to that side house? Maybe? That's where... And more of those symbols. Was.
FPC buzz. I select. Now we gotta figure it out. There we go. This is the point of interest? Now that's something good. I'm just double checking to see if there's anything here after. Oh, it probably wanted me to wash my hands here. That makes more sense. Whoa. That would make more I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. North Side but Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Oh. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Okay, so we're just following the footsteps. Main case. These footprints weren't here before. Nightingale came this way. I'm on the right trail. Okay. Going back down to where it was, I'm guessing. Have a gun. Don't like that. That's not a good ominous sound. Explore up there, but I'm just gonna wait until getting redder. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Ooh. I can feel something a presence. Nightingale isn't far. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place, and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Okay. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Okay. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Went through the tree into some other place. The tree could even just lay all this overlap. The overlap. Let's. Oh, I don't like that I have a gun now. I don't like that it's already out. I have to go in. I don't like this already. Good, it gave me more gun. Which which finder station? I don't like this one bit. Which is ladle? 
There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a, to a strange tree named Ladle. <coughs> Excuse me. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked him in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. Hey, that sounds very familiar. What is that? Hello? Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Okay. <laughs> My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. Okay. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Okay, so where's the witch's hut? From here. Okay, so I gotta go back the other way. Okay, so R1 is flashlight. Stuff. We have three full batteries, or not full, we have three batteries worth of stuff. I'm assuming it auto does it, or I will be informed how to do so. Going the right way? Straight. Straight and right. Oh, so we were we were supposed to go up here, I think. Yeah, we just had to we just did it early. Got it. This is the witch's hut. Good. Anderson. Thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. I gotta find a fuse. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to hey, find one bad. to turn on the lights. The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. That's what you The page described the hut being lit. And mentioned a fuse. We gotta find the fuse first. Got it. Got it. Over here. This fuse is busted. Oh, we found a fuse. Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? He said her parents want to get better jobs and get her a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said, thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday. I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird's going down out down there. I'm gonna find out what. Going to go back tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can make it find a way inside the building and then make some photos. It's gonna be epic. I will gladly take the big ass. Hello. This one looks good. People should really stop littering though. <laughs> We found a fuse. Back this way? Yeah. 
It's a creepy ass hut, to be honest. I just want to lose him. Nope. There was not. I have a decent. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Oh. So we save with coffee. That's fun. Another page. Maybe. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. Okay. The second part recited from memory. Okay. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. So do we need to get the heart back? Board. Oh, it's just do already. So this goes here, and that goes there. Oh, cool. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Hmm. What is the ritual? We do that. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Okay. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Okay. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Okay. Form the ritual, find the heart. Okay. Ace board. Do I have anything else that. Unread. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something okay. rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it. But it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Okay, so that means... Oh, okay, cool. The heart. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Okay. Where is it? The cult is drained close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. The heart. Where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Okay. Okay, cool. I need to check the general store for the heart. But first... Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? 
I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Okay. So now we get back. I did save off. Can I can I save in here? Did save. I don't I don't like that the game told me to save. That's not good. Turned around. Don't like this at all. I like the game. Oh, I don't like that there's a safe haven. I don't like that there's an obvious safe haven here. A healing object. Okay, so we go into here now. Sure, what can go wrong going inside the creepy fucking building? I wasted a battery there. As I do believe. Hey, look, it's a heart. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. Hey, what's on the heart? Words on the heart. Go up here. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Yes. Like I saw it in a dream. Perform the ritual at the And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Is that another manuscript page? Excuse me. Saga at the general store. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here. Waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the General Store. Like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. 
Yeah. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Okay. And there's that. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. There's stuff in there. There we go. Oh, I got more space. Let's go. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. I would like a better gun. Is that what we're saying this is? Lady Fortuna at the counter. Don't forget to update the code. 705. Madam Agnesia, palm reading, crystal gazing, interpreter of dream. 5550. Lotto, Washington. So 705, 713, 717, 17. Are you trying to come back to life, my guy? I feel like I'm missing something. Missing here. Seven seventeen seven thirteen. Five thirteen. Oh wait. Oh five thirteen seventeen twenty three. It's thirty nine. So it's seven thirty nine or seven forty five. Thirty nine or forty five. That's cool. I like that. Please just be. There we go. We got a better gun. You can quick slot inventories from the inventory. You can also collect for healing as inventory. Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Hello? Can I, like, get the thing in here? Yeah, we like the batteries. Are you gonna come back to life? Yeah. 
And now we gotta go back to the heart. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. You don't okay. like the trees. Okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Is it getting did we get through the night? Is it getting lighter out or am I just wishful thinking right now? I'm just gonna hold on to the shotgun. That seems like the safest thing to do. Maybe I should have gone back up to the witch's head to stay. I don't know. Following the footprints. Safe haven. This is the right thing, though, right? Yeah. Sorry. I wish I was a better shot than I am. Why do we gotta turn the light off for this? I think I'm in the overlap. Defeat Are Nightingale. Are you still on your way? There's no way. I should have saved the shotguns for this. Casey, do you need me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. We have to defeat Nightingale. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're no, imagining I'm things. Yeah. Genuine question, does it show me anything? No, because we're in the overlap, so there is no fucking... Kind of what I figured, but also at the same time, it was good to check just in case. I don't see any footsteps, or else I'd be tracking. But... Go. 
I just going back home. I'm safe. Okay, hello. You? What was that? Is that Alan? Alan? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Okay. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside okay. into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, okay. muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. How did I get here? It's cold. Not my beautiful Premium life. cabins for rent and bright falls. Home. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Okay. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. If it's looping, does that mean we have to go back keep looping? And we go this again. Oh boy, let's go. Okay, this is new. This is new. We're just following the evil red glow we're doing here. Oh, oh good! Oh, he's gone. Shit. Hear him. He's here, Nightingale. I hear him. Please tell me it's gonna auto save, like right here. Uh. Trust him. Who Danger. Who is that? Hey. It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. To find the light switch. Okay, so we got ammo. Okay, so the clicker is still very much in play. Okay, I'm just gonna keep following the giant evil red light. As it's turning into something else. Saved. That's 
not comforting. So not that. Okay, so it goes right back to here. Okay, so we do this and we're just gonna have the shotgun. Nightingale. I didn't even realize that's what that was. Just gonna keep jumping out at us. Got it. I don't like this. It gave us shotgun stuff. Yeah, where are you? It's gonna run. Fuck. I can't see a damn thing. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, hi. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? 
hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Yo. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my oh, fault! Hey. He got out with my face! Scratch! We found him! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 